but they sure have the end. <laughs> if you want to go anywhere, you have to. <laughs> I guess. Well, uh, tell us about the club, how many members you have, uh, anything that's going on new this year, uh, how we can direct some new members. Well, right now we have a snow track. The snow's up to the top of the wooden wall, so that's 24 inches. Um, that's a covering. <laughs> <laughs> right now it's being wetted. Um, last year we had, I think it was 60 some drivers. The year before we had like 71. So we graduated like six kids a year before last. So um, this year hopefully we get up around 65, 70. Uh, two years ago we had a beat the clock night, which they had time trials. We had 99 cars there that night. Wow. So that was kind of rough. We averaged around 72 to 75, somewhere in there. Wow. So big, big good big, Friday night. Big show. Now, how, how are you attracting new members, uh, young kids, uh, boys and girls, who actually want to get entered into some kind of racing? At the end of the season, we have uh, driving experiences where you can come and rent it's $20 for 10 laps around our track. Uh, we supply the cars, safety gear, all that. We used to try to do it in the springtime, but you work all day long and you end up with one piece of a track that you can drive on, so that's not so good. Okay. Um, we come to the ball. Um, a lot of people just tell other people about it. And, yeah. you, you guys always come to this mall with a gate, with a real good gathering of uh, young superstars that are coming out here. We really uh, appreciate what you do for that. I, I want to tell you, that, that takes a wholehearted effort because I, you know, I know what Stevie does to put this show together between phone calls and stuff. He, he works for months and uh, I'm sure that you're doing the same thing. Well, it helps that our secretary just lives down the street now. She's sitting here in the front row. but. Uh, it helps that you have some families in the area that they can come and stay at the mall and stuff like that. That's so great. That's just that absolutely much traveling. Great. great. Any kind of special events you're running this year that uh, the kids can look forward to? Uh, every year it's pretty much the same. In the middle of August we have our benefit night. Each year we uh, pick a different children's uh, well benefit. Okay. Some to, kind of uh, foundation. Yeah, to donate to. One year it might be uh, like autism. No, we are here. It might be for childhood cancers and stuff like that. And okay. We had arthritis foundation. So we usually donate somewhere between three to thirty-five hundred dollars. So. Wow, that's big. So that's just great. We get our like a lot of Mahoney cars and stuff. The big cars will come down, and the people sign autographs and stuff like that. And have pictures taken and that's all that stuff. That's so. great. Our, our, the kid, the guys that come down from Mahoney are they graduates from the club? Some are, some aren't, some look forward to it every year. They ask you when it's going to be so that they can be there. So, sure. Okay. Now, let me let me ask you this because I, I obviously not a thin man anymore. How's the food at uh, Blue Blue Mountain? I don't get to eat much, but when I do, it's good. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Usually, I'm running around. I get to eat when everybody else is done. And is there an admission charge for the fans? Uh, the fans are free. We charge people to come in the pit area, but other okay. than that, you can sit in the regular spectator admissions free. Well, if, if someone wants to come up and visit and there's no charge, you don't mind if they would donate a few bucks, right? No. We send three drivers around and turn at night and with their helmets to take donations. Some people donate every week, some people never donate, but it's just good to have them there. Absolutely. Well, I think it's a great way to keep, keep everything going. And I, I, mean, uh, I think it's a terrific thing. Absolutely. So. Well, we're glad that you're staying in the forefront of things, Richie, and I'll tell you what, it takes a lot of devotion, and we know the time that it takes to put in, because, you know, you, you come from a racing background with the Croners and all, and, you know, you know the time that they put in the racetracks. You're doing the same thing. We want to thank you for, for doing what you're doing for these young folks coming up, and, uh, you know, Steve and I want to thank you, and Bobby, from the bottom of our hearts, what you're doing to keep young people in racing and to coming out and supporting this mall show every year. And you know, I have to say that the attendance in the audience is better than we have for the big blocks. 
it, it's, it's almost amazing how you guys support these group of young superstars. You know, we know they're, they're your children, the whole deal, but you know, it goes a long way to see what you guys have done. We really appreciate well, it. And, and one of the things that uh, Greg and I have always talked about, when you see this type of participation, you know that racing, the future of racing is in good hands. Yeah, it's, it's nice to watch these kids, even when they go other places, they make friends that live hundreds of miles away, and yet they'll, down the road, they'll race against them kids again, yep. and they hang out together and everything else when they move up through the classes and all that, and it's good. It's like racing used to be. Yep. We like that. Yeah. Absolutely. Having a sausage sand sandwich at the Flemington yeah. Speedway. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, Richie, uh, thanks for being with us. Absolutely. We have some more interviews to do, and we're going to get Mike over here as well. Uh,